Shalom, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. What does it mean to have faith like Abraham? Before we delve into this vital question, let us begin by offering praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father. We acknowledge His sovereignty and the profound privilege we have in seeking His wisdom through His Word. Now let us turn our attention to the sacred text of Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. This verse reads, And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. It encapsulates the essence of faith and righteousness, and it finds its place in a pivotal moment in the life of Abraham. At this point in the narrative, God had promised Abraham that his descendants would be as numerous as the stars. However, Abraham and his wife Sarah were aging, and this promise seemed impossible in human terms. Yet, in the face of uncertainty, Abraham believed in the Lord. He had faith, and it was this faith that God accounted to him as righteousness. You see, righteousness in the Bible is often synonymous with right relationship with God. It's about being in alignment with God's will and His promises. It serves as a timeless reminder that faith, genuine faith, is not based on our circumstances. It's not reliant on what we can see or understand. True faith is rooted in trust in God's character and His promises, even when everything around us seems uncertain. So what does it mean to have faith like Abraham in our lives now? It means that we too can trust in God's promises, even when they seem impossible. It means believing that He is faithful to His Word and that He will account our faith as righteousness. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the example of Abraham's faith. Help us, Lord, to cultivate faith like His, unwavering and trusting in Your promises. May we live righteous lives in right relationship with You. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may the faith of Abraham inspire and guide you in your walk with the Lord. Until we meet again, may God's peace and wisdom be with you. Farewell, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ sustain you always.